It's mailbag time here on NBA Now by Chat Sports. Harrison Graham Chase Sr. We will answer as many questions as we can, but if we don't get to them, you can tweet at us at HGrahamNFL, at Chase underscore senior. Ask away. We're talking hoops. We're talking football. Whatever you want. Slide in the DMs. They're always open. All right, let's start. Use hashtag NBA or Super Chat. Nils B, where is Laurie Markkinen going? Um... I don't know. He doesn't want to be in Chicago, Chase. No, he doesn't want to be in Chicago. He did officially request a trade, according to Chris Haynes. Shams had reported that maybe the Hornets were involved. That was before they signed Kelly Oubre to a two-year deal worth $13 million per annually. I'd throw the Celtics as a team that might be interested in Laurie. Just to clarify, so when he says he requests a trade, he's a restricted free agent. Exactly, yeah. So basically he's saying just don't bring me back. Yeah. <laughs> Sign and trade, that's fine. But just, Basically, he wants out of Chicago. He wants out of Chicago. Taryn Royuro, uh, what does Iggy do to improve the Warriors? Can you say that name again? <laughs> Taryn Royuro. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is this is a real account. Trust me. What does Iggy do? Uh, look, it, I'm not going to sit here and sell you on the fact that he's Iggy from five years ago, but he's still a plus defender. He's an occasional decent three point shooter and he's got championship pedigree and he knows this organization in Golden State. I think those are things to, that, that bring value, and he brings depth to your bench. Yeah, by the way, we just got to $300 in Super Chats on our live Beautiful. show. But, yeah, love Iggy to the Warriors, and I'm not expecting him to come out and put up the numbers that he put up from 2013 to 2019 with Golden State when he helped win you three championships and the 2015 NBA Finals MVP. What can he do now still? Bring you veteran leadership, championship pedigree, a guy who's insanely intelligent, who could probably become a head coach at some point in the future if he wants to. On court, he'll hit some threes. He'll still play elite defense. Gwen Hill, I just catch up with the NBA draft. Well, speaking of the NBA draft, hey, we're going to we're gonna do a mock draft soon. Probably yeah. next week, we'll take a stab at it. It's, it's, it's tricky in the NBA because you don't know which guys are going pro. But, yeah. uh, hey, shout out to you guys. We're never uh, scared. Uh, for super chatting. So uh, continue to get your questions in. And uh, like the video if you love the NBA. So hashtag NBA Super Chat. Get your questions in on the show. Let's go to Pokes Eon here. Do you see Kobe White being impactful next season? I honestly think he will be better knowing his role will be coming off the bench, Chase. I mean, are we acting like Kobe White is a scrub? Because Kobe White is a pretty good player. And I think coming off the bench, he can be a guy <coughs> who gives you minutes and points and spurts. Last year, he averaged 15 points per game. And I really like Kobe White coming out of North Carolina. Yep. Is he going to live up to the expectations of being the seventh overall pick back in the 2019 NBA draft? Maybe not. But so far, he's off to a pretty good start yeah, because been he's fun. been a good player for the Chicago Bulls. And as your secondary two guard or point guard, I like him coming off the bench in, a, in that bench role. Go, go, Chica Fitness. Colombian pesos. Appreciate that. Will Luka Doncic suffer from the 2K oh, curse. I hope not. It's not like the Madden curse. This cat is special. Yeah. You know? Nothing phases this guy. He's an emotional player. I thought, you know? dude, this is just crazy to me. Like, he almost led Slovenia in the Olympics, it's a country of 2 million They've people. They've never even played in the To Olympics. the gold medal game. They never even made it to he the Olympics a, before Luka went off in the qualifying. A round. historic block by Nick Batum. Saved France in that game. Yeah. Against a block Russia. that's right up there with LeBron's oh, finals it's all block time. and Giannis's finals block from this past post. Just to get to the semis is unreal yeah. for Luka and Wild. Slovenia. I, he, nothing's going to curse this kid. Will Damian Lillard get traded? Another superstar. Type Y for yes, type N for no. A lot of rumors around Dame and his future. Go ahead and get your votes in right now. Cam Olto. What? Signing is being slept on. Chase? <laughs> They're try the people are trying to break me again with these <laughs> creative We'll SEO nicknames. this bag. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> what signing is being slept on? How about Rudy Gay? Yeah. How about Jeff Reggie Green. Jackson? Jeff Green to the Nuggets. Jeff Green. Uh, I think those three signings are the ones that are being slept on. Look at that. Look at that photo. Benjamin Jamie. Not Benjamin. 
Do, the other this one. Is real. The other yeah, one. Yeah, that last one. That was suspicious. Do the Mavs still have a chance to sign Kawhi? Well, he's been signed by the Clippers, but we can throw his name in this mailbag now. So appreciate yeah. it. Hey, Kawhi going back to the Clippers. Hey, no longer the, the Mavs. SEO juice, Benjamin. Yep. Marcelo Gonzalez, what grade would you give the Heat offseason a, a? I mean, a. I don't even have to finish. Uh, the team you all around. You even say A+. Plus. Yeah, A, A+. Plus. Yeah. I mean, listen, you get Kyle Lowry. You re-sign Duncan Robinson. Your only loss is Kendrick Nunn. If Oladipo's healthy, he's an upgrade. So, I mean, I mean, it's been fantastic. You know what's going to be hilarious? In like three or four years, People are going to look at the salary cap and the financial issues that Miami is running into because they're paying Kyle Lowry $30 million per year, and he's 35 years old right now. They're going to be paying Jimmy Butler around $50 million per year, and they're going to be like, these schmucks, these frauds gave the Miami Heat an A grade in NBA free agency. If they compete, or at least get close to competing for an NBA title next year, You're trying the year to win, after man. that, that's all that matters, man. Trying to win. Robert Bruce, hey Harrison, Chase, fellas, what do you think the Celtics options are left at point guard? Uh, depending on when you're watching this, Dennis Schroeder and Marcus Smart. Extending because Marcus Smart. There are some reports out there that the Celtics offering him a deal around $75 million. That's what you're looking at. Jason Ozzie, a loyal chat sports watcher. If the Clippers, if you're the Clippers, would you trade for John Wall or sign Dennis Schroeder? Also, can I get a birthday shout-out? Hey, HBD, my wife's birthday was on Thursday. Happy so, birthday, Jason. Uh, pretty close there. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, happy birthday to all the August folks. Yes, sir. Um, John, I'm not trading for John Wall, no. and the Clippers don't have the money to do His so. His salary is one of the worst in the NBA. It's like one of the worst contracts. Million. Yeah. Dennis Schroeder, if you can get him for the right price, he could be – go back into that sixth-man role perhaps, Chase. Yeah. I like him in that role. I like him as that. He's a good six man. Yeah. He's not a good starting point guard. Yeah, I kind of agree with Not that. reliable enough. Hey, if you're enjoying the show, like the video. Simple as that. Hit that thumbs up icon and help us out. It supports us, and it's just one click. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up icon. What moves should the Suns do? I think they're kind of set, man. I, you know, maybe they add some kind of bench wing shooter type, maybe like a J.J. Redick or something like that. That'd be but interesting. I think overall, I mean, unless you have someone in mind, I think they're pretty set. No, here. I think they're set. You bring back Chris Paul. You re-sign campaign to be his backup. You bring back uh, Frank Kaminsky. I think they're saving some money because they know they're going to have to pay DeAndre Ayton. Yep. Vontae, four times. How far do you think the Warriors will go this year? If Clay is healthy and at least 80% of his former self, because I think it's unrealistic to think he'll be completely the same player after two major injuries. Um, Can we say four to six seed in the West? Which is great. Yeah. I mean, that's great. They were in the NBA play-in tournament last yeah. year. I it's a significant improvement. Their ceiling with their current roster is probably like the three behind yeah. the Lakers and Suns. And then their floor is between six or between six and nine. Really, the West is still a beast, guys. Yeah. Like. If you think that the Warriors can just show up and win 50 games, like, it's not going to be that easy. I like their team, but, you know, I'd like to see them add a piece or two as well. TK4 Smith, what will Houston do to improve? Uh, be patient if you're a Rockets Please fan. Please be patient. Um, see what Jalen Green can do. This year is all about finding out what Jalen Green can do. I mean, really, that's that's it, right? Yeah, and flashes of Bradley Beal and Zach Levine for Jalen Green. So you get your elite wing scorer who can get a bucket anywhere on the floor. You get Alperen Shengun, who was my favorite international prospect. Should I think have he could be a very good big man. Well. And uh, you get Usman Garuba, who yeah. arguably is the best defender in the draft. So you combine those guys with Christian Wood as well as Kevin Porter. That's a solid squad right there. Hey, if you love chat sports, if you love the NBA, we are the channel for you. We have gone live for five of the past, like, eight days, if you count the NBA draft, for, like, five-plus hours every time. Yes, so, sir. Hey, we're keeping it real. We don't – We uh, ball out. We don't, we, don't, we don't call it quits after an hour. YouTube.com slash chat sports TV. Get the softies out of here. Subscribe. We have a good time, and we give you the best analysis on YouTube. No name. Simmons, Thibel, Maxi, some first for Dame. 
I mean, that's probably what you're talking about, right? Yeah, that's what you're talking about for a trade for Damian Lillard. Maybe two Lillard. first with those three pieces because, I mean, Simmons, Steibel, and Maxey all have value. Ah, dude, what's unfortunate is Tyrese Maxey is what the Sixers thought Markel Fultz was going to be, and he possesses everything that the Sixers don't have. Creator, guy who's confident, can shoot, no defense. fear. Uh, defense, I think he's going to be a better defensive player over time. And a guy who can just shake you down off the dribble. So losing him would definitely hurt. Sebastian Rodriguez, do you think Simmons will be a warrior? I do think they're one of about four teams that makes sense. The other ones. Uh, so Golden State, Portland, because they have the assets with Lillard and McCollum. Uh, San Antonio has had interest. They've had success yeah. with international players. They need a guy to build around, and that could make sense. And then Toronto? Maybe Toronto. Minnesota, if they want to break up some I've of that I've floated a, a Colin Sexton for Ben Simmons right. trade straight yeah. up on my Twitter page, at Chase underscore senior. I think it benefits both parties. I think that's unlikely, though, because Clutch Sports, Ben Simmons, um, Rich Paul, Cleveland doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Got a few more here. Sports Universe, are the Lakers done making moves? I mean, they might sign a player or two, but – They've got 10, 12 guys on this roster already, and that doesn't even include, like, Austin Reeves, who's on a two-way. Uh, they signed Mac McClung. Mac McClung, They UDFA. also added uh, – who's the other two-way guy they added after the draft? One of the hard names to pronounce. Oh, gosh, it's going to drive me crazy. But they've got a couple of guys playing in summer league that will compete for roster spots. May, if they do anything, it's like you're talking the Wes Matthews of the world, yeah. the, the J.J. Reddicks. Maybe they flirt with the Boogie Cousins, but they're they're pretty much done. Grade your team's free agency, A through F. A being it was outstanding, F being you F and suck. Let us know down in the comments how your team did during NBA free agency. All right, we have time for a couple more here. Rogue Brothers, three-team trade, Clips, Simmons, uh, Davion, Mitchell. I'm confused here. First, First and unprotected, unprotected 2022. Second. For the Kings Kennard. get Rondo, Kennard, Zubats, and the Sixers get Heel, Patrick Beverly. Don't the Clippers win that by like a mile? Yeah, Am the I Clippers like get Simmons. Here? The Clippers and Davion, need a point guard who, and if the Clippers get a point guard in Simmons who why doesn't would, care about shooting. Why would the Kings he works. only get Rondo, Kennard, and Zubats? Like, yeah, that, and they lose Davion Mitchell, a top yeah, 10 pick? that's no good. Yeah. Cameron McIntyre, if Portland is interested in Lillard, what do you think would work? Well, you mean in trading him? Is is that is that what you're going for here? They already have him. I mean, you're looking for four firsts and players. Yeah. I mean, the max player trade assets. you can get. Like, Either a, an elite superstar player. Or like a ton Or of draft picks. capital. And well, elite draft capital. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, I, Philly's got a ton of assets. OKC like, giving you 10 first-round picks. Yeah, something like that. John, last question, unless we get a super chat. How much do you think Dennis Schroeder is worth? Now that all his potential suitors have moved on, what do you see teams that would be a good fit? I think Boston makes sense. Yeah. Uh, teams still – look, we bag on him. He's a good player. He's a good like, player, not, not a great like player. It's not like he yeah. sucks, but he valued himself as a borderline max player, and that's just ludicrous. I think uh, what I would pay him, I think he's worth in that tw 13 to $16 million realm. That's what he's worth. He thinks he's worth almost double that, and I firmly disagree. We'll see what happens with 